February, a whistleblower from this facility, the Horry County Solid Waste Authority, came forward to our news team and stated that this landfill, this property, was leaking toxic sewage, toxic waste, toxic E. coli into the Horry County watershed. The Solid Waste Authority landfill here behind us is built in the middle of and all around Sterrett Swamp. We sent tests from this facility to a lab. Safe for wastewater was 349. The test came back at 37,000 parts per milliliter, which is way off the scale. We also found higher levels of arsenic. There were aluminum, chromium. There were other elements that we tested that were mildly unsafe leaving this facility. Horry County Council decided to test the water themselves this week. They sent down Coastal Carolina University, then they tested Sterrett Swamp just upstream, and they tested just downstream as well as the facility. Those tests came in at 24,000. Once again, 349 is safe for wastewater. Zero is safe for drinking water. How do we keep these unsafe E. coli, these unsafe bacteria from leaving this facility? That's a question we pose to County Administrator Steve Gosnell. It's his responsibility to keep this private contractor in check. It's his job to make sure that no contamination leaves this site. This facility was built 30 years ago with the understanding at the time that the facility would have a shelf life of about eight years. It's 30 years later and the site is still operating and growing. The site, however, is in the middle of swampland it is surrounded by, and it is in the middle of Sterrett Swamp. That swamp feeds into the Waccamaw River. As of this airing, County Administrator Steve Gosnell has not responded to us. Gosnell once worked for Danny Knight, who heads this facility. There's a close relationship there. How are we, the residents, being protected by county government? That's where the problem really lies. This facility is inundated with garbage every day. That garbage is clearly leaking from this facility. While one sample, while one sample does not indicate an ongoing problem, the samples that predate this do indicate an ongoing problem by the Waccamaw River Keepers. And these samples are concerning Previously, we've not been able to narrow down where the problem was. Well, clearly, the problem is here. Greater testing has to be done. Safety precautions must be put in place to ensure that no contaminants leave this facility. Plans right now are to grow the facility. With growth comes greater and greater responsibility. And these responsibilities lie at the feet of County Administrator Steve Gosnell. If Horry County residents believe that DHEC is going to take care of them on this matter, here's a history lesson for you. This is Wither Swash in Myrtle Beach. After five years of reporting the very high numbers of bacteria in this swash, what did DHEC do? They sat down with Myrtle Beach officials and they actually changed the numbers to five-year averages. Now, no one on vacation in this area can know exactly what the readings of this squash behind us are. DHEC will be no help in this matter. Horry County sent us a statement saying the results collected and analyzed by the Coastal Carolina Environmental Quality Lab reflect a medium high E. coli reading at one of the outfalls. In addition, the lab provided us with confirmation that seagulls shed high densities of these organisms through their droppings. 
However, we talked to several other labs and a few universities who informed us that nothing should ever leave that facility. Number two, Coastal Carolina is not highly respected in their ability to test for all of the things that are compiled and make up this landfill. Not heavy metals, not arsenic, <clears throat> not chromium, not any of these allies or these metals like lead that, that end up at this dump. A higher level of facility, a better grade of tester needs to be consistently employed, A, to ensure the numbers are safe and B, that nothing ever leaves this facility. The waters around the Solid Waste Authority are considered 303D federal impaired waters because of these ongoing issues. Horry County continues to grow at unprecedented rates. More growth means more homes, more homes mean more waste, and all of that waste is headed out to Highway 90 at the Solid Waste Authority. When my great ancestor, Abel Hawks, first moved to Conway in 1767, he could dip his hands into this water and drink and not worry about getting contaminated or sick. It was crystal clear. Over my lifespan, I've watched these waters become more and more polluted. I don't know about you folks, but I don't want to live in a third world, Horry County, where there's signs posted everywhere saying don't drink the water, don't fish, don't recreate, don't swim. I hope we can all start to turn the tide now and bring the brightest and the best minds to fix this problem. To County Administrator Steve Gosnell we say, you can put the safeguards in place at Highway 90 at the Solid Waste Authority to end this today. Let's all turn this tide together and let's hold Horry County Council and Horry County Government accountable. <laughs>